Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today we are out here and as we all know it, spring is here and so we're getting our garden ready. And so I'm gonna do a quick little demonstration of how we go about rowing our garden. And so as y'all can see here, I got my, my rows and they are a little bit kind of wavy. But what I did, I had to go back in the box and pull out that little old trick and grab my uh, measurements so that way I can have and my string line so that way I can have some real nice straight row guys if I'm going to be doing it out here I want to be able to bring it to you guys the right way and so that's what I went ahead and did all right so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to jump on a tiller and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cultivating and the reason for that is is just to loosen up that soil just a little bit um, I did till this right here about a week ago and, so, and I let it rest. So now what I'm doing right now is coming back through cultivating it and make the path that I'm going to be making my rows and then I'm going to get my tape measurement or my leveler here and put it on the end of this existing row and then I'll go ahead and nut my post in and then I'll come with my string line. I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute. Excuse me for the noise. So that is it right there for that cultivating right here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead, grab my sledgehammer, and like I said, and the, the, the width of these row here is going to be 23 inches. So I'm just going to place this right here at the edge of my row right here. Pull that on out, and we're going to come right here and line it up with the other end of this here and we're going to go ahead and drive it down in the ground and we're going to take our leveler here with our little measurement on here and do the same thing down at the other end
Okay, so now that we have our line run and everything like that, now, as y'all can see, over here on this side here is the dirt that I went ahead and cultivated. And this is the dirt on this side here that I'm gonna go ahead and turn over on the bed here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a quick demonstration. And when I'm digging this row here, I wanna stay along with this line. And like I said, I had to go back and pull out this little old trick here out of my box. You know, even though I don't, you know, believe in trickery. But, uh, you know, I had to go ahead and get it just so I can show you guys the right way and do it the right way. And there's never really no right way. Well, I can't say that. You know, it is the right way to do things. But, you know, it's whichever way that works for you guys. Okay guys, so that is it right there. And you know, I just worked up a sweat. That's always a good thing. But I just want to give you all a quick little uh, reason why I'm on these beds up, beds up so high. Uh, after planting here last year, we have come to realize that the moisture, well not the moisture, but the top of this dirt here, uh, the sun would crust it over. And so, we mount it up real high so that because when it crust over underneath that crust, it stay moist underneath there. So that's why we mount it up so high and that way the sun won't suck out all of the, the, the moisture out of the dirt. So, but that's it. And if y'all come on around here and look straight down this aisle here, y'all can see how defined the row is. And that is what we're looking for here on the homestead. Now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to take you guys along with me on that process there. Uh, we have some wood chips and inside of these rows here that we just made, we're going to go ahead and come through with our wood chips to lay down in these walkway here. And what that's going to do, it's going to definitely go ahead and also hose in even more of that moisture and keep these beds nice and moist. But that's going to be it right there. Um, definitely want to thank y'all for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always peace and blessings to each and every one of you